Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Follow a Sketch Friday. Um, I am going to be using uh, my Kill a Kit with Style. I've already pulled out a couple things. Um, I'm actually going to be using this 8.5 by 11 page map sketch. Now, I am not going to make an 8.5 by 11 page. I am going to make a 12 by 12 page. So, let's see what I can do. Alright guys, so I am just going to go ahead and figure out where I want things to go. So the sketch has this round element for where the title is, but honestly I'm not using this round element. I'm going to go ahead and use this die cut from Paper House. Now I think I've had this die cut in my stash forever. Um, I have had it definitely before I even realized what Paper House was. Um, and I know that that might sound lame, but I actually had Paper House products uh, before I realized that they were a company. And I know that that sounds ridiculous, but that's just the honest truth of it. So I am using this photo play paper. It is kind of this khaki colored background with these cameras all over it. Now my photograph is not the best photograph. Um, I'm just going to be straight out honest with you. My printer is running out of ink, my photo printer, and it just didn't print uh, as dark as I would have liked it to. Um, but honestly, guys, I am not that stressed about it, and I'm just going to put it uh, down like it is. Now, I was thinking about using that piece of paper with the blue side on it because I wanted to introduce that blue color with the rest of the Disney-esque colors, um, but I, it was just too jarring for me. So I flipped it over and used the other dotted side, which has like a creamy background um, with the other colors in it. So... I just realized that I was going to put washi tape across the top portion uh, like it is in the sketch, but I completely forgot about it. And this is hitting me now a day or two later after I've actually completed the layout. So there is a confession for you if you didn't know. So a lot of people um, like to talk about their YouTube process or their just their, their scrapbooking process in general. And a lot of people that I know definitely have a routine they have a specific process that they follow. They do certain things and that's just the way they do it. However, I don't think I necessarily have a specific process. Um, sometimes I start with photos. Sometimes I start with product. Sometimes I start with a tool. Um, it's just a matter of what what I feel like I want to play with. Like, do I want to stamp today? Well, then I'm going to play with stamps or... Have I not used um, mists in a while? Well, then I'm going to pull out my mists. Or, wow, I just realized I have a whole heck of a lot of pocket cards. I need to use some of those up. Um, or, you know, I just don't know. I used to be very rigid in my scrapbooking where I scrapbooked in absolute chronological order. I started in January and used those photographs all the way through December. And now I kind of play. And... Um, it's a lot more fun for me that way. So I'm playing. That's all I'm doing. Um, I did end up adding washi tape right here, however. Um, and I'm just figuring out how I want to embellish this little area. I definitely want to embellish it. I don't want to just have this plain um, thing right here. I feel like it needs a little bit more because I'm not actually filling in the little... Um, clap stick and I literally just clap my hands at you guys. I swear I need to start doing voiceovers with my little head in the corner kind of like you see sometimes on react videos um, like reaction videos where um, people are reacting to something that they're watching because I don't know. Sometimes I want you guys to be able to see my facial expressions, like my body movement, the way my hands are talking while I'm talking to you guys. And sometimes I think you guys would think I am an absolute train wreck and you would never watch me again. So <laughs> there is that feeling. So I went ahead and backed that uh, frame with some kind of like fire bursty, sparkly-esque uh, paper. And now I'm going to use this yellow uh, piece of paper, it's from Simple Stories, as that piece that comes down there where um, the journaling is supposed to go. I am not going to journal um, because I do have companion pages uh, to this whole, um, this whole movie experience already finished in, in the album. Um, so we went and saw uh, Logan at the AMC Dine-In Movie Theater um, down in... Uh, 
I almost said downtown Disney, but it's not downtown Disney anymore in Florida. It's Disney Springs. So um, I don't remember if it was Disney Springs when we went then, um, if it had been changed over or maybe it was just starting to get changed over. I can't exactly remember. Um, but we went and saw Logan and we had dinner and we just had a grand time. Like it was, it was super fun. We loved it. We definitely want to do it again. Um, but it was a fun time. So I used, uh, the four ticket stubs, uh, to place down here on the left. And then I just added the other ticket stub over here on the right. Um, since there are five of us, I didn't want to just not put one of our ticket stubs up. Like wh who does that? Like, oh, sorry. One of us wasn't important to be, uh, you know, mentioned in the scrapbook layout. So I'm just finding some uh, word phrases and I'm going to place those down here on top of this yellow bit, uh, really instead of doing journaling. Because like I said, I already got the layout in the album. It's got the journaling on it. I hope it's got the journaling on it. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, it's been a while since I scrapbooked this, um, this trip. So I hope it has the journaling on it. Um, if it doesn't, I'm going to have to add journaling somewhere. <laughs> I'll have to go pull it out and check. I'm pretty sure it has the journaling on it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for Follow a Sketch Friday. Make sure you join the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group. Um, that's where I have a album post-it with a sketch, and you can place yours in there as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again real soon for another video.